Hey everyone, Dusty here. Today I'm gonna to give you five long ride tips. So if you're someone who's training on the bike for, let's say over two and a half hours, all of these tips can be applied to you. And especially if you're training for a half Ironman, full Ironman, or even just a long bike race, then hopefully some of these tips will help you. All right, so let's get started with tip number one. And this one applies more so to race day. And that is to expect the unexpected. So do you know what you're gonna do if you get a flat tire? What are you gonna do if you drop your nutrition bottle? Or what are you gonna do if you drop a gel flask? Are you gonna turn around and get it? Can you use what's on course on the aid station 10 miles down the road? What if your handlebars come loose or your seat post drops? Are you gonna have a little multi-tool so that you can fix that? What if your bike computer dies halfway through the bike ride? Do you, are you gonna freak out? Do you know how to ride by feel? And weather, what are you going to do if it, let's say, rains on race day? Are you gonna, going to maybe run lower PSI in your tires? Are you gonna bring rain clothing? Maybe swap out your dark sunglasses with some that are maybe have a lighter tint to them. These are just some things that you need to expect on race day. Hopefully none of that stuff happens to you, but it does happen, it happens to people all the time. So just make sure you're ready and expect all of those unexpected things. All right, long ride tip number two is making sure that you're comfortable. And one of the biggest ways to be comfortable is invest in a good pair of cycling shorts or my favorite, bib shorts. So let's say you're training for Ironman, you're probably gonna be doing some training rides up to six hours, maybe even longer than that. And you're gonna sit on this little tiny saddle. So making sure that you're comfortable and able to hold your aero position and not have to squirm around because you're you cheaped out and bought $10 cycling shorts isn't a good idea. A good pair of cycling shorts or bib shorts that fit you properly will, will really go a long way in helping prevent saddle sores, which can be a big problem if you're really racking up the volume on the bike. And it'll just help you be as comfortable as possible on your very tiny and uncomfortable bike seat. All right, long ride tip number three is all about nutrition. So once we get over that two hour mark and beyond, your body is going to start relying on other things than your glycogen stores, because we can only store up to 90 minutes or two hours worth. So after that point, you need to start relying on outside fuel. So me personally, I like using glycodurance from F2C Nutrition, and what I'll do for a long bike ride, or say half Ironman or full Ironman, is I'll actually make what's called a super bottle. So I'll pour up to eight, 10 scoops in one water bottle. I'll make that an 800 to 1000 calorie bottle, and that'll last me up to three hours. Other things to be mindful of is electrolytes, especially if it's extra hot. You need to be replenishing your electrolytes as well. And then, of course, hydration. So you need to have a nutrition plan set in place. It, it doesn't have to be confusing or complex, but it's something that you need to figure out before race day, and your long bike rides are the perfect place to practice. All right, tip number four is going to be getting a bike fit, and if you have a road bike, installing aero bars. So one of the best and cheapest things that you can do to get faster over a bike ride is get a bike fit. One, not only that'll get you a little bit more aerodynamic, but it'll also get you much more comfortable. So when you go for a bike fit, you're not looking to get as, as aerodynamic as possible. You wanna get as aero as possible in a position that you can hold for the duration of the bike ride. Just like bib shorts, being comfortable for a long bike ride is half the battle. If you aren't comfortable down in your aero bars and you gotta sit up, you're just negating that bike fitter made you super aero. It just all went out the window. As soon as you sit up, you're gonna have to put out much more power to stay at the same speed as when you're in your aero bars. So get a bike fit, get as aero as you can while still being comfortable and able to hold that position for five plus hours. And then also if you don't have a triathlon or a time trial bike, I would recommend putting aero bars on your road bike. That way you can get down in your bars out of the wind and put out less power to go the same speed over the course of a long bike ride. All right, tip number five is all about recovery. So yes, sleep is super, super important, but I'm talking a little bit more today about body work or foam rolling and massage. When you're doing these training rides up to six hours, that's going to create a lot of tightness in your body. And you can go to a massage therapist or physio and they can work out any issues or any knots that you have. But this is something that hopefully you can maintain by foam rolling 
often, like every day or every other day. All it takes is 10 or 15 minutes and you can work some of the problem areas, you can work your quads, you can work your calves, you can work your glutes and these are all places that get really tight when you cycle. It should go without me having to say it but you need to take care of your body especially when you're putting in those long bike rides. So just uh, try and make it a habit and your legs will thank you. And that's it. Those are my five long ride tips. I'd like to thank one of my subscribers, Christopher, for giving me the idea to do this video. He actually has a 50 mile bike race at the end of August, so good luck to him. And like always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe for more everything running, triathlon, and nutrition related.